Good morning, everybody. I'm Shane Chartrand here with another health supplement tip for the day. The more people I've been talking to, the more I've been realizing that everybody's having a hard time sleeping. And that can be quite harmful for your health. So you need to make sure you're getting a good night's sleep. Today, I'm going to show you three supplements you can take and why it will help you to sleep a little bit better. Now, you can take one supplement of this or you can take all three of these supplements, but I'll tell you why they are going to work. Now, they may not work overnight. It may take a couple of weeks. You do need to be patient with it. And there's a couple of things that you're going to have to do with these to get a better night's sleep. So the number one thing you want to do is go get yourself a book on better sleep. And if you get yourself a good book on sleep or you find out about sleep, you'll understand sleep and you'll understand sleep cycles where you sleep in like 90 minute cycles. So it is totally normal to wake up a few times per night, but it's not as normal to not be able to get back to sleep. So that is key right there. So just know you will probably wake up in the middle of the night, even if you're getting a great night's sleep, but you'll be able to fall right back asleep. Okay, totally normal. And it is normal on occasion to not get you know, good night's sleep. That's not something to be concerned with. It's when it goes on for weeks and weeks and months and months that you're having a very hard time sleeping. So let's, let's start off with the first supplement which we've all heard about, it's melatonin. Now, there's a few keys to melatonin, and number one is taking a very low dose. Try not to take a high dose, because a high dose is not gonna work as well. It'll tend to put you into a deep sleep right away, and then you'll wake up and you'll have problems falling back asleep, and it can bring on a little bit more nightmares. So, what I suggest is a half a milligram to one milligram maybe up to three milligrams. You take that at the same time every single night and uh, you take that low dose. And what that's going to do is regulate your sleep cycle. It's not a sleeping pill. That's what a lot of people don't realize. So um, basically you're gonna take it same time every night and uh, it will just get you into a routine of getting into bed at the right time and getting you to fall asleep. The next thing I think everybody needs is of course magnesium. Now, don't ever overlook magnesium. Look for a magnesium bisglycinate or magnesium citrate. They have higher absorption. You take this at the same time you take your melatonin, about an hour before bed. It's gonna relax your muscles. It's going to calm the central nervous system. And over time, you're gonna find that you're gonna have a more relaxing sleep. So it is an excellent thing that you uh, should be using, I think every day for a whole bunch of different things because magnesium has over 300 different uses in the body and uh, better sleep is just one of them. If you deal with anxiety, oftentimes it could be a deficiency in magnesium and a lot of adults now tend to be deficient in magnesium. And the last supplement that I tend to recommend is something like ashwagandha or rhodiola, or even better, get an adrenal formula that contains ashwagandha and rhodiola. The more people I talk to, again, are stressed and we are going through stressful times. And with that, you know, you want nice, healthy adrenal glands, you wanna calm the mind. And uh, taking something like ashwagandha or rhodiola can get you to sleep throughout the night. So a lot of people that tend to wake up between two and four can't get back to sleep. It can do, be due to a lot of stress in their lives. So if you deal with that stress properly, that can uh, really, really help. So ashwagandha, rhodiola, or better yet, a combination of the two. So we got melatonin, at a very low dose, half a milligram to one milligram. Trust me, I've tried high doses, I've tried low doses. Low doses work better. Magnesium bisglycinate at about 200 milligrams, about an hour before bed. And last but not least, something for your adrenal glands. So here's some other key things, and nobody wants to hear this, is put your devices away one hour before bed. I'm telling you, it truly does work. One, it can stress you out about what you're seeing on your devices. Two, of course, we got the blue light that can affect our sleep. And uh, make sure you're sleeping in a nice, cool room. That is, uh, that is key right there. There's a whole bunch of other supplement tips, which you can find in good supplement books. Um, Why We Sleep, I think, is a great one by Matthew Walker. So look into that book. And that could definitely help you out. So that's been my health supplement tip for the day. Hopefully this helps you out. And hopefully you get on these supplements and start getting a good night's sleep. Remember, it may not work the first night or the third night, but give it 14 to 21 days and you should notice an increase in better sleep. I'm Shane Chacha saying, see you later.